Welcome back, trainers. So, as you can see, I finally found myself the shiny cradley. All right, so pretty happy about that. Well, I, I found the shiny lily, and then I evolved it, which we're gonna take a look at. Uh, ran into a whole bunch of those. We'll hop into the Pokedex to see what my uh, leap count is currently at right now. Did decide to go ahead and evolve it. Uh, we were under weather boost, so uh, man. This is a good thing as well as a bad thing, and I got a little heat. Um, I don't think there was too many of you. There's just like maybe one or two comments saying, be happy on what you get. Stop complaining about the IV. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, I think they left a massive, massive comment, and they said they don't see very much PvP on my channel, so stop complaining. They don't even PvP that much. In, in which to my reply is, where, who, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? I do a lots of PvP, so... Uh, what I'm getting at here is it, it, it's great. It's an 88%. I do believe it's like max attack. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what you want to look for in the Great League specifically for PvP is going to be a around a two, like a zero, one or two or three IV in attack and then 15 for defense and then 13, 14, 15 for uh, the stamina. Uh, but I'm not complaining at all. Uh, I'm definitely going to I'm contemplating whether or not I'm going to power this up. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, purchasing a secondary mood move. Um, I'm also thinking about this. Maybe I might want to trade with somebody uh, and possibly get lucky shiny uh, cradleys with a lucky friend. So that is an option as well. Pretty happy about this. Really happy. You have no idea. Go plus it. Out of all things, I was just doing a, l a little grinding before heading over to do some grocery shopping with my son, and I, I found it. It was in my inventory, and I was like, oh my gosh, I found it. He's like, wait, what? How did, did, did you see it in the screen? And I was like, no, I actually go plus it, so pretty stoked about that. All right, now let's go ahead and head over to the Pokedex and look for the Leleeps, as well as the Cradley, and talk about Community Day. So just, just for a moment here, so we do have that Community Day coming up. Where is it? Did I pass it? There we go. And uh, it's not going to be the most exciting around, which is perfectly fine. Nice, relaxing time. Basically, it's going to be trying to hatch eggs. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So the count for seeing the leaps has dramatically risen. I would say, sheesh, like times three as well as caught. Yeah, quite a bit. So I do have one lucky of those and uh, the shiny now. And I've yet to evolve. A female leap or yeah a leap into cradle I don't know why <laughs> I don't know what's going on here May 26 at this point and apparently they're all male I'm not doing that intentionally it's just by odd coincidence so the anorith I haven't found shiny which um, I don't care I don't want it I, I, I really don't I, I kind of want it a little bit you know honestly but now that I found the leap I I don't mind because every time I did tap on one of these, because it's just, you know, systematically tapping on the new Pokemon, well, the ones that can be shiny, uh, at least the newer ones, uh, I just systematically tap on them, and there's a whole lot more of these. I will take, I will say this, I do like the eyes on this thing. Uh, they kind of have that um, milky, faded looking color to them, which I uh, enjoy. And then, of course, the... Uh, it's evolution. I mean, it's good for PvP personally, and it's a decent color as well for the shiny variants. And as far as the Onyx go, let's go ahead and take a look at those. I only, it only took me maybe like seven raids, seven or so raids, and then I was able to find this one here. I don't see them in the wild too often, so you're going to have a better chance of finding your shiny maybe through raids unless you have some sort of nest for onyx i mean in which case you know that's amazing awesome and of course go grind that out i just may find another shiny today because i do plan on going and doing a whole lot of walking like i just mentioned because i'm quite far behind let me let me show you my kilometers as of now so today is uh, friday yeah friday of course uh, and I'm only at 19.9. Horrible. I'm 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 doing bad, guys. Well, it's not really my fault too because the steps weren't counting. Like, come on. Like, I know they extended it and we went over that. And a few of you were concerned. Like, okay, sure, they gave us another week. That's fantastic. But here's a big but. <laughs> okay, uh, is it actually working? Because if it's they give us another week, what's the point if it's actually not working? But apparently, 
they're updating it and things are happening. They're trying to make it work. And I don't know, guys. I can't give you a definite answer whether the Adventure Sync is actually going or not. Some of you, it seems to be working perfectly fine. For others, it's just shutting off at random. So not too sure on the deal for that. I am hatching my eggs you know, and things like that. I'm just not getting all of the kilometers that I was supposed to at one point in time. So if I had to take a guess on how many I should currently have and be sitting at, I would say around 30 kilometers or so. Um, I'm not going to really make it too, too big of a fuss about it. It is what it is. The game has always been broken and I always voice my opinion on that. I do not try to mask things and, and uh, back up Niantic. There's some times where things I say, I'm like, okay, well, we can be a little lenient on this, um, but I really shouldn't. It's just my better nature to not just continuously be negative about everything and try to find a little good in some situations where things are not looking so hot. Anyway, Venture Seek's not working, <laughs> right? Basically. So really looking at this thing like I want to power it up, get it ready for the Great League. Not that it's going to be useful anytime soon, but who, who knows? It, it just might come in handy for a future cup because it's typing. So it does get that um, rock and grass typing infestation, which is great for PvP. And you'll be able to gain quite a bit of energy for your charge moves. So that is looking fantastic. And I will be, like I said in my last video, bringing you some more PvP videos. It's just a whole lot of stuff is going on here. I do have my Rainbow Cup team set up. i contemplating, I keep switching one Pokemon back and forth, back and forth, and deciding whether or not I want to use it. I have some great matchups against some opponents. And then sometimes it just completely falls flat on his face. So I'm trying to make the decision whether or not I want to use that or not. I'm not going to be counting uh, this for my rank, the, the um, tournament tomorrow. I'm actually going to be counting the one in Chicago because that one is going to be counting uh, towards your points a lot more. Uh, so I will be able to rise in rank if I do pretty good there. So that's uh, something to take note of if you're contemplating the same thing and you have a tournament in your local area and you're also going to be competing at Chicago's uh, Rainbow Cup, then you may want to opt out of the points. You can still compete locally. Uh, just make sure you check off the thing that you want it to count for your uh, Silt Arena points. All right, trainers, with that said, let's open a few gifts to see if we can get a lucky friend so let's start off with holly here um that'd be nice seeing that she's gonna be in chicago too let's finally can we finally get it skip the animation <laughs> all right uh moving on to my next uh friend here manhunt ruler let's go um not, i don't think he's going to to go fest but you never know when i might meet him i think i'm almost at my daily limit reach so i don't know how many of these i can open up uh, or how many best friends I still have that I haven't opened up that are not already lucky friends. All right, so my friends list finally loaded. Okay, let's continue on here. No, is that it? <laughs> well, there, there. that's a little short. Um, hey, nice uh, cradley there, buddy boy. Very nice. Uh, all right, how many more days until we are ultra friends or best friends? Five more days. All right. Uh, and so also forgive me, please, for not... Uh, opening or sending gifts like I should. I have been really slacking on that. It really have been, but uh, for the most part, I, I try to stay on top of it and open up gifts for the remainder. Uh, there's my limit. There we go. So I guess I have to start sending gifts now. Um, but about the multiple uh, special trades, are we actually going to be able to do that? Is that really? Because people are telling me, somebody said Niantic confirmed that it's not true, but I would, I would need that confirmation like please. So if you can link that in the uh, comments, that'd be great. And I will check it out so I can uh, put that information out. So I didn't say it's a definite thing. It's a possibility. We did see that image in the trade screen a while back that started getting some circulation and attention. Uh, and uh, there has been nothing else said by Niantic on whether or not we're going to be able to make multiple special trades. Because think about it though. Think about it. I mean, it would it'd be a smart move. Why wouldn't we be able to do that? Not that it's going to possibly happen, but if we were to be able to make multiple of those, uh, somebody comes up to you like, hey, oh, it's amazing. We finally are able to meet. Cool. And not me personally, just another friend of yours. And they ask you, can we do a special today? Like, oops, I already did mine. And everybody else you ask, oops, I already did mine. Only one today. That's it. Sorry. You know, it makes sense if they added that, but we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. I'm pretty excited to see 
the shiny horsey though that is something i'm definitely looking forward to and if you do need a shiny chrysalia and you have a shiny that i personally would like then we could do that but i'm kind of wanting to make mirror trades with these with lower uh friendship people uh, because that's going to be your better option if you try if you're trying to get a chrysalia into the great league here here it is basically you want to trade with friends that you have a lower friendship status with because the lower the status yes the more it's going to cost hopefully they already had one otherwise it's going to be a pretty penny um but otherwise you're going to have a better chance for that cp to drop if you have a lower friendship level with that specific trainer otherwise if you're trading with best friends and you're doing one a day and you're continuously doing it to hopefully finally have it drop low enough for the great league then you know it, it's gonna happen it's, it may happen one day finally if you have enough chrysalia stacked up to do these trades and not even shiny just regular ones um my friend chirk was actually able to get one into the great league it was 14.99 and he's perfect perfect 14.99 are you kidding me that's golden uh but for me no luck quite yet i haven't really been doing trades special trades with chrysalia so i need to get on that uh it is pretty good for the great league and with that said, trainers, I just want to tell you, I will be bringing you plenty of that PvP raids, all that stuff that you want to see in the future. It's just going to be a crazy month, and the video output is going to probably slow down once I hit GoFest. And if you're wondering, are you going to stay consistent with two uploads a day? Uh, I know I've been uploading sometimes one a day, but how is that going to work when you're in Chicago? I'm not too sure uh, how that is going to work out and how I'm going to put together the footage. And am I going to do vlog styles? A little bit, a little bit. Of course, I'm going to show the surroundings, uh, record myself a little bit, but for the most part, the, the video content is going to be pretty much the same as you're seeing now. Just going to have the in-game screen and uh, do the commentary stuff. So look forward to me catching uh, Jirachi as well as attending the tournaments there, as well as a few other meetups. Uh, that should be pretty fun. Worlds is going to be amazing. Don't know how much content I'm going to be recording there. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty loud, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure there's, there's going to be dozens of videos out all over the place of that. So you should be able to check that out there that I'll have my two cents put in there. Anyway, strangers, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll be catching you all next time. And I did it. Got my shiny cradley. I am happy. Good to go, folks. Take care.